Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about Paperbyte. About me, as you all know, I'm Colombian. I'm a designer, graphic, and industrial. And this is my process, the UX and UI. Uh, Paperbyte. Paperbyte is a, a company that I established in Colombia in 2015. It sells stationery, so uh, notebooks, pencils, everything related. Uh, it works and operates only in Colombia for now. What is the brief? The brief is to create a digital tool that would enhance the experience of analog uh, writing into a digital world. I started with some competitor research. Uh, basically, I took five applications and started to see how they worked and measured their effectiveness versus their innovation. And I also took feature by feature and analyzed them even more deeply to fully understand what was out there in the market. I, sorry. Uh, I did my own research. I had 322 surveys and seven interviews, which all corresponded to actual current real users. Um, and I found out that 86.4% of the girls, because the users are girls, uh, still take a lot of notes during class. 89.1% of them take notes on the notebook, and 55.3% take notes on a notebook because it's their personal preference. I also did some qualitative research, and this allowed me to fully understand even better their pains, their gains, and why they were doing their behaviors towards taking notes in an analog way. And I found four important takeaways. The first one is that girls still prefer to take class, class notes, a digital, a analog, in an analog way, sorry. A, and they store the notebooks just in case if they need the information for later on. They constantly share their notes with their friends. A, the organization of the notes and the aesthetic of the notes are very important. And also they use color coding to a, find important notes and post-its and all sorts of materials. Later I did an affinity diagram which basically allowed me to fully organize the information. And pains and gains to fully like focus on my user and really, really understand why they were acting the way they were. So I got four pain points. The first one is the fast pace of classes makes for unorganized note taking. The second one is that girls can't quickly find specific notes on their notebooks. A third one, the storage of notebooks takes up a lot of space and it's very heavy. And four, papers and notebooks can get lost easily or stolen, which means that they will lose all the information. That's why I created a user persona. Basically, I created this persona to fully understand the user. She's Olivia the Overachiever. She's 20. She studies in Bogota. Uh, she's still in college. And her main frustration is that she can't keep up with her teacher and that her notes aren't as pretty as she would like to. So I created her user journey. And basically, her, her basic uh, through the day, she really gets frustrated because she has so many classes. And things are overlapping, homeworks, things to do, a reading, so she gets really annoyed by that. Then the ideation process began, and I started to, to, to create like possible solutions based on the pain points that they were having. And out of all, I had to categorize the most important features or the most important solutions into the Moscow method. So they were features that I must have in the application or that I wasn't going to have. And this led me to my value proposition. I created Hypernote, which is an interactive tagging system that organizes notes based on time and subject for the user's field of study. So how does it work? Girls take, no take notes as usual. I'm not changing their behavior. They, they love taking notes, so they take notes as usual. Then the stickers tag information um, that places them into categories. So they scan, the, they scan the, the page, and then the system reads stickers and organizes into the information. Um, how does this fit the user? So the percentages you see here is the percentages that I got from the research. So it validates the, the proposal I'm doing. So first of all, they continue taking analog, analog notes, which 89.1% girls prefer. They have 100% control of their organization. They have pretty notes now because they're going to decorate it with stickers. Uh, they can prioritize their information and also custom graphics, which means that they can match their actual notebooks in, into like the graphic of the notebook into the application. So they also they know like biology is the pink one and whatever. User flow. This is these are the tasks that a, the user has to take in order to complete her happy path. I did a lot of concept testing, lo-fi wireframes, found out that I was missing basic buttons like how to add a subject, a, 
and fix that into the mid, mid five wireframes um, that I had to fix other stuff. Brand attributes, so basically the brand is feminine, minimalist, organized, focused. That is the mood board. That's the style tile, the typography, the colors, the style guide. So I went, to do, it went into the atomic level of the application and designed small things, which made the application. Here it is. So they go to biology. They go to cell reproduction. They scan the document. The smart scan, you can crop it and fix it. Then the the system reads one important takeaway and one key date based on the stickers that she put in that specific space. So there she has her calendar. In her calendar, everything is synced. So her notes, her daily notes, her uh, tests, and she also has important takeaways. So she always has what's most important of each lesson in one single place. So based on each uh, subject, the colors change based on the graphic of the notebook. Metrics, how can I uh, measure this? by downloads, number of downloads, second amount of stickers sold, so which is good for business because we're going to st start selling stickers. Cloud storage, when because girls are going to start storing, they're going to have to buy more storage. Premium version, which is a paid version, which they can add voice notes and pictures of their teachers, and continue sale of sales of notebooks. Conclusion, I created this platform, and this will help the girls continue using pen and paper, share their information, organize, save uh, the information for the future, prioritize information, store in the cloud, and I also chose iOS because 59.9% of the girls actually use uh, iOS systems. Next step, create premium version, which isn't created yet. Broaden types of tags, so if you're a mathematician, you need a, a tag for a math formula, so you can always have those in mind. And create an entire variety of stickers, which different icons, colors, etc. Thank you.